What's up guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we are super excited to be talking about five tips of finding remote work, but we'll be doing this with Camille who is an expert on the topic, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today and we are so happy to be here with our friend Camille Attell from More Than A Wheelin. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are putting out five videos every week about RV life, both educational and fun. But let's dive into this today because we have so much information about remote work. So today we are going to be talking about five tips to finding remote work on the road and Camille is quite an expert in this field because she actually has created a course about remote work. And she has gotten so many people jobs on the road so not only does she have the information but she puts it to use and people have seen results from it so without any further ado let's hop into the first tip of the day what do you have for us Camille well first of all I want to thank you guys for having me I love uh, your channel and I love your vibe tribe they're like oh, the nicest people thank so you. Thank you. I appreciate being back so today I've got some tips for your folks and one of the things I hear about remote work when people ask me you know well I wish I could travel or I wish I could do what you're doing, but I don't know how to find a job. I don't know how to work remotely. And I hear that all the time. And so mm -hmm. my first tip is the first thing you need to change is your mindset. People mistakenly believe that there are no jobs. And because I'm out there and I'm working with people, I know that there are jobs. In fact, there are more jobs than there are people to fill them. Employers are struggling to actually mm -hmm. find the talent. And so in the course, we talk about that. How do you position yourself to take advantage of that opportunity? So number one is change your mindset. There actually are remote jobs. Yeah, that's very awesome to hear because we have so many members of the Vibe Tribe that really ask us how to get work on the road. Mm -hmm. And we only know a few ways really. Yeah. And they're not all great ways, you and, know? And it's so specific to every individual that it's really hard for us to answer that question as in depth as it needs to go without getting to know each person individually and what their strengths are. And it's funny, some people that find our channel that aren't as familiar with the lifestyle assume we don't work because we're RVing, <laughs> because what jobs could be out there, but we're here to talk about all the different ways that you can find those jobs. So after changing the mindset, what do we have for the second tip? Okay, so the second tip is you need to optimize your resume. I know optimize is a fancy word, but um, you need to change your resume to be remote work specific. And the way that you do that is you can find words that would communicate to whoever you're hoping to interview with that you either have worked remotely or you can work remotely. And so words like remote work or worked remotely in a uh, you know cross site or worked with a remote team or uh, works well independently these are all mm -hmm. keywords that um, communicate that you are able to actually work remotely that's tip number two yeah, so that's great. if someone has a uh, stationary job right now mm -hmm. but they've done like maybe a day or two or a month or they've had some experience inside that job with working outside of the office would that kind of help as far as adding that on the resume? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't add it so specifically. Like I wouldn't say, oh, I've worked one day from home mm -hmm. or whatever, <laughs> but I would at least you know, work it into the resume that you have worked remotely. Mm -hmm. You do have that experience. Mm -hmm. You know, you want, what you're trying to do is you're trying to build trust and credibility mm -hmm. and you do that through the right keywords. All okay, right. and so if people haven't worked remotely before, what are some skills that they should mention? Okay, well that's a nice transition into tip number three, <laughs> Olivia. So there are specific skills that a person can have um, or should develop to work remotely. Mm -hmm. Now some people will say, you know, but I'm, I'm an engineer. I, how does that translate to working remotely? Well, you want to think of what's called transferable skills. Mm -hmm. These are skills that you move from one job to another. So if you can think independently, that's a transferable skill. If you can work on your own and do research, mm -hmm. that's a transferable skill. So you want to think of the skills that you can take anywhere because if you can use them in an office, you can certainly use them in a remote environment. Mm -hmm. Does that so, make yeah. sense? Yes, yeah. definitely. So what would some of these words be as far as just very specific words or very specific words as far as describing one of those skills? Sure. So in the course, actually, I give a whole huge list mm -hmm. of various skills depending on who you are and what works for you. But some of the things I just listed are things like working independently, being a problem solver. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one thing to think about when you work remotely is can you do work on your own without having to ask everyone a question around you? You don't have anyone around you and you don't want to be picking up the phone or pinging them all the time with notifications. Mm -hmm. So what can you do on your own 
um, that would take the burden off of people that you know need to answer your questions, if that makes sense. Yes. So it does. research, independent, problem solving, critical thinking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Time management is really important yes. when you're working remotely because nobody is watching you. If yeah. someone's <laughs> had success doing online courses, mm. would that uh, experience even translate over oh, into this? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, before I got into RV life, I was doing even um, live courses. I mm -hmm. never even worked online. Mm -hmm. And now I've just taken that um, experience and I've just moved it into an online space. Awesome. You can take so many jobs and mm -hmm. make them remote. I mean, I've even heard about like remote surgeons. Wow. I'm not going to get into yeah. that today, but I have heard of these things that you think that could never be done remotely, yeah. but there are angles Very cool. that you can yeah. work. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So what do we have next? Is this number four? We are on number four. So the fourth uh, tip today is getting on remote work job sites. And there are, I'm not kidding you, infinite. In mm -hmm. fact, there are too many, and that's what makes it so confusing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So one of the things I do in the course is um, my, my husband Bryce and I, we researched all the different remote work sites out there, and we found the best ones. And we have a list of like 21, but then we added a few more. Mm -hmm. And so now I think we're up to 25, wow. which is still too many. Mm -hmm. So then what we did is we scaled it way back, and we give you the top five where we know the research says these are where you find jobs, these are where you can find the best jobs. Mm -hmm. These are where the jobs are validated, meaning there are less scams because mm -hmm. there are scams out yeah. there. I know that's a fear. And so we ha we've done the research so that others don't have to. Right. We've literally saved people hours of time. That's amazing. I had no idea that many even existed. Yeah. So can you share one of those with us today? Yeah, I can. And there's so many good ones. But the one I want to share is one that doesn't cost money. And I, right. I like to keep things low cost. <laughs> and it's called WeWorkRemotely.com. So just we, as in we, mm -hmm. work remotely. You can find all kinds of remote work uh, jobs there. And what I like about that one is you can do it and your current employer doesn't see your profile. All right. I think this is the one. Mm -hmm. I might have to get back to you and validate it because yeah. there might be a different one I'm thinking of. But it's okay. a great site. It's right. validated. Very yeah. cool. Awesome. Yeah. And it is nice that it doesn't charge any money to search right. for a job. Because yes. sometimes, even in uh, my past of searching some of these sites, I would just want to go in and explore what the site had to offer, right. but that you know barrier of entry of the money yes, really yes. Uh, frustrated me some of these times. Right. You want one more tip? Give it to <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> one more tip. Um, put yourself out there. Now I know that sounds really vague and like okay, yeah, everyone says that. No, but I mean really, put yourself out there. Like tell people you're looking for work. Mm -hmm. Go into the Facebook groups even. Mm -hmm. Go on to different sites and let people know what you're good at. Let them know what you're looking for because I've found almost 90%, probably close to 90% of the jobs that I've done remotely have all come from networking and Facebook groups mm -hmm. and just asking people or telling them what I'm good at. Yeah. So put yourself out there and ask for the work. I think that's awesome advice because uh, I know I'm a part of, I'm guessing you are a group member as well of the RV Entrepreneur on mm -hmm. Facebook. Yes. And that is a wonderful community of, even if you're not an entrepreneur, it seems like there are a lot of job seekers mm -hmm. on that board yeah. yep. trying to inspire each other, mm -hmm. trying to learn from each yes. other. And I know I've learned yeah. a lot and I've even had job opportunities come from that uh, yeah. group yeah. itself. Sharing ideas and getting inspiration from other people that are in the same situation as you. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's mm -hmm. been a really cool resource to see how that's grown in the community yeah. around that. Mm -hmm. There's also another one that's, that I don't know if you guys know about, um, but I think is also helpful is the, the escapers have a oh, cool. job site as well yes. where you can find jobs there. I've thought about starting my own group around mm -hmm. this, by the way. I am not there yet. But I have some jobs that I want to like get into the marketplace. So we'll see. I'll let you know if awesome. that happens. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much for sharing those tips with us today because those are things that I mean are quite often above our heads just mm -hmm. because we haven't done such mm -hmm. in-depth research mm -hmm. about what's out there. Yes. So we really appreciate you sharing that with the Vibe yes. Tribe. All right, guys. So Camille is going to share one more bonus tip with us today. But before we get into that, I want to let everybody know that Camille has a course out there. If you want to dive deeper into this, can you tell us where to find that and uh, just what to expect when visiting that course? Yes, absolutely. So the course is called Remote Work 101, Work, Live, and Travel Where You Want. And it is really designed for people who who want to live a travel lifestyle, don't know if they can because they don't know if they can do 
remote work. And so I walk them through a process A to Z. Everything from updating resumes, skill set building, where to find the jobs, how to apply to the jobs, mm -hmm. how to do an interview remotely. So I cover everything. I leave the course open for sale for just a short period of time, about a week. And the mm -hmm. reason that I do that is I like to have a small group of people going through it at once so that I can give more targeted support. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, I, yes, I love selling the course, but I also want people to get the experience and the value. So I leave it open for about a week and that way we get a nice group of people that I can actually support uh, effectively. Very yes. cool. It sounds like an amazing resource. We will be sure to link the course down below if you're interested in that. And we will also link to a blog post where we will cover all the tips that we talked about today. If this is a little bit too much to absorb in one sitting, we'll have that all broken down in a nice, easy way to understand. Exactly. So now on to the bonus tip. Oh. What do we have for the bonus tip today? Okay, so I think Olivia, we had talked earlier about what if someone wants to keep their job? Like the job they have now is one they like or they get great benefits or whatever it provides. Mm -hmm. So I do have a tip on that and I cover this in more depth in the course as well. And that is you can negotiate your current job to be remote. Mm -hmm. Now, not everyone can do that. Not every job is going to translate mm -hmm. that way, but I like to uh, help people understand that you know, em again, employers want to keep good people. It mm -hmm. is expensive to hire people. Mm -hmm. It is expensive to lose people. And if there's a way to negotiate a remote work position, they're open to it if you pitch it right. And right. I teach people how to pitch it right. Very awesome. Yeah. Cause Olivia does mention this a lot to mm -hmm. our viewers. And yes. I'm always wondering, well, how do you do that? You know, mm -hmm. yes. how the heck do you pitch yeah. that? And what, what are some of the interesting jobs that you've seen accept the pitch? Like, are there any examples you have that you've seen this pitch work for? It's actually, you know Julie Chickery mm -hmm. from Chickery's Travels? So she was working um, a government job, actually, and you know, you would think, oh, government's never gonna let you work remotely. They gotta watch everything you do, mm -hmm. right? Not so. She actually did a very strategic um, negotiation with them, which was she did a test. And I talk about how to test, how to pitch things in All the right. test. Mm. And so she was doing contract, um, she was doing proposal work actually. And so she over time negotiated like one day a week and then two days a week. And finally she went full time remote. Awesome. So there's a position in mm -hmm. government that you think is inflexible yeah. that actually worked out. Yes. Well, that's, that's a, awesome. that's a yeah. great tip because I could see how some employers might be on the fence, but doing like a trial run, mm -hmm. like we'll try it one day a week and see how that works mm -hmm. out. But that's always been like something uh, that I've thought was a good idea. It might not always work, but it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't mm -hmm. hurt to ask. And yes. knowing how to ask is yes. the most the yes. battle. And that is also that in the course, yes. you explain that process. Yeah. How to do it most successfully. Yeah, I mean, I give a whole like plan where yeah. I outline the steps and it's like a whole proposal process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, not overwhelming, but yeah. enough. Yeah. No, that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys again for watching. This has been super informative to us, I know. Yes. And we hope that you guys have gotten some great info from this as well. Yes, we get questions all the time about remote work and we have a hard time answering them because we don't have as much knowledge and resources as as Camille does, so it was great to be able to meet up with her today and just pick her brain about this topic. Awesome. So thanks again, and remember guys, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.